the binding energy of nucleons in nucleus can be affected by the pairwise coulomb repulsion okay so we see here that uh, in the nucleus there are protons also and neutrons also now what is being said here that uh, the binding energy is affected by the pairwise coulomb repulsion so therefore we can uh, we can clearly tell that since proton and proton will be having repulsive force okay so therefore to separate them is easier and thus the binding energy of proton will be lesser than the uh, neutrons so now since there are uh, z number of protons so therefore the potential energy which is stored in them is going to be you know z c2 which is z into z minus 1 divided by 2 so these many pairs will be uh, having you know will be having the potential energy so now this is going to be um, the potential energy is going to be k into e into e divided by r and since it is z into z minus 1 by 2 pair so this is the this is the energy potential energy which is stored in the protons so therefore okay let us go now one by one so therefore uh, let us see the first option so epb minus enb so the binding energy of protons the binding energy of protons will be lesser binding energy of neutrons will be greater and this will be equal to this much Okay, the difference is going to be this much, which is proportional to z into z minus one. Okay, so the first one is correct. Now, it is proportional to e to the power minus one by three, where e is the mass number of the nucleus. So we can clearly see it is inversely proportional to one by r. Now, for a nucleus, atomic number, this is the density of the nucleus, and this is four pi into r cube the density of the nucleus is same for all so therefore we can write r is proportional to e to the power 1 by 3 so it is proportional to 1 by e to the power 1 by 3 and hence it is proportional to e to the power minus 1 by 3 so b is also correct c it is positive no not you know like neutrons will be having greater binding energy so this is not positive this is negative so this is false at the last one the proton um binding energy increases if the nucleus undergoes a beta decay emitting a positron so yes what happens is the new uh, the proton okay that uh, you know in a in a beta decay the positron is emitted so e plus is emitted so now since the uh, e plus is emitted so therefore the number of protons becomes less and since the number of protons becomes less so therefore the potential energy stored will also be less okay so since potential energy lessens okay or like you know num less protons are there so now less repulsion will be occurring and therefore the binding energy will be more okay Uh, if there is more repulsion you know if you see you know like from other protons also repulsion is there and all okay if there is more repulsion then it is easier to separate if there is less repulsion then it is more difficult to separate so therefore the binding energy increases so therefore a b and d are the options thank you